Hello, and welcome to another Professional Evil Fundamentals video. Uh, I'm Mick whitehorn -Gill. I'm going to walk you through really quickly uh, setting up your Burp CA trust so that you can proxy uh, applications like the Secure Ideas website here uh, that are encrypted, they're encrypted communication over TLS. So, so your HTTPS sites. If you're brand new to Burp Suite, instead start with Kevin's introduction to Burp video so that that will get you up and running with stuff, uh, with, with proxying and whatnot. Then come over here and make it so it works on TLS. Uh, so here we go. I'm set up here. I've already, my proxy interface is there and running on 8080. And I've already configured my proxy using, in this case, the Foxy proxy browser extension in Chrome. To get that going and so this is this is going through that process on a linux environment i test in a linux vm whenever i do applications the process is slightly different for windows and mac uh, so okay so i just turned on my proxy i hit this and all of a sudden my site's broken oh no uh, if i go to the dashboard i see here there are some issues negotiating the tls connection I'm not going to dig too much into why that is because that would make this a much longer video. So just running through the fix really quick. I'm proxying a TLS site and I haven't set up the set up the uh, the cert trust yet. So here we go. I go to proxy and then options and I uh, export the certificate in dir format. Is that option there? and next and then i select a file to save it um, you can see i've already exported it before i'm going to overwrite that one with a new one boom there we go okay over to the browser uh, now it is it's nested in here under privacy and security but the thing with this is i only have to set this up on a new installation or when I actually choose to rotate the uh, the cert, I don't go through it that often. So rather than dig around here in the menus, I'm just going to use the search function, highlight cert, and I expand this out and go to manage certificates. That's what I want. If I go under the authorities here, uh, I can go on in here and if I scroll, 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 I don't currently have one in here for port swinger. So if I import and uh, you can see here in the corner here, I'm changing the type to dir encoded binary. Uh, using the dot dir extension was convenient because that's how this filter works, by the way. Uh, so there we go, I picked that. And I wanted to trust it for identifying websites because that's what I care about in the browser here for what I'm doing. And if I look now under org port swigger, uh, oh, I saw it, I scrolled past it. Where'd I put it? Port swigger, port swigger, port swigger. They're alphabetical, I shouldn't be struggling here. There we go, okay, port swigger. Got it, so it is there now. Uh, and if I head back over to the website and refresh it, now it works. Uh, and if I go back into Burp and verify, I am now capturing this this TLS protected traffic. So that's it. It won't change. I can leave it set up like this as I change projects and whatnot. It's only going to change if I reinstall Burp or I use this button to regenerate the cert. Then it will change. Which, if your cert's been left somewhere, compromised or whatnot, you definitely want to do that. But Generally, it doesn't happen very often. Um, and this is unique to my installation. Your installation of Burp will have a different cert. So, yeah, it, it's it, if you intercept my traffic, the fact that I trusted my cert is not going to leave me open to, to uh, easier compromise. That's it for this. Uh, so, great. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. If you have questions, head on over to training.secureideas.com or find us on our Slack if you do professionallyevil.com. Uh, there's a link to our Slack. We're always happy to help. Bye.